Hello, you got Kenny Evans here. The topic of this video, this car video here is why women shame strong men. And naturally it's just very simple because their strength can only attract uh, weakness. You know, they're more masculine in nature. Well, they're more masculine as women. So they have to attract more feminine men just naturally because they're more leader dominant got to do what they got to do so they can't have somebody who's going to be leader dominant got to do what they got to do they got to have more of a submissive feminine easygoing person who will follow them you know and and that's how they will have more peace because the more strong dominant alpha that man is they'll have the conflicts and it just won't work out not for the better. And it won't last long because the man will leave. <laughs> and I mean, he'll leave. He won't put up with that after first meeting her. If, once he finds out that's how she is, she'll be gone. He'll, she'll be gone and he'll be gone. You know, they will not be associated with each other. You know, but also a lot of those strong females, they really don't feel like they deserve a strong man because of their own insecurities. They believe that weak, a feminine man is what they deserve. You know, a guy who they could run over, who who will follow them and submit to them because they feel as a woman, they could do anything that a man can do. But they know that they're, they're not good enough for the strong alpha dominant man. So they got to find a man who is less than them, they feel. So they say, I'm the leader, I, I, I'm in charge. So they actually feel like they have value, you know? And I mean, I get it, you know, but again, it's based on insecurity because they don't feel good enough because naturally women want the most dominant man they could get. Naturally, it's in their nature because with the most dominant man, obviously they'll have the most dominant genes once they have kids and that child has a, a much higher likeliness of surviving, <clears throat> you know, throughout life and reproducing and letting the generation go on or the generations go on, you know, so naturally women want the most dominant, strong man, but they se settle for these weak men just out of their own insecurity and pride, you know, so. I mean, it's, it's, it's really not good, but, you know, they feel they need it, so they get them. And then also they just, uh, they're just, like I said, they're used to weaker men because that's what they attract. They attract men who are more submissive and more in their feminine. So they just deal with them. You know, they are still women. They still have needs, you know what I mean, regardless of how the man may um, treat her or she treats him, you know, they still have their needs and they want a man, <laughs> you know, so they get the, any man they can, they settle for uh, a weak man. And those men usually are the men who put up with their stuff. Those weak men are the men who put up with their stuff. And those are the men who will jump through hoops and walk over fire and swim a million miles and They'll be needy and they'll prove to her why uh, they deserve to be with her. You know, as opposed to the, the woman proving to them how come she deserves to be with them. They'll prove to her. They'll go through everything they got to do to let her know their value. And she appreciates that again out of her own insecurity and weakness. She feels like because a man is going through all this stuff that she has value. And to a certain extent, it's true. But the problem is, it is not the type of value that she even truly wants. It is just what she's able to get, you know, because she's probably had a lot of guys do that. And just, she's like, hey, it's just normal. But then the relationships are terrible for both of them. 
You know, there's no, there's no congruency. The man is miserable. She's miserable. They're both probably cheating or one of them's cheating and they're constantly breaking up. And it's just a terrible relationship that nobody would, they don't want to be in, but they just feel like they have to stick it out. You know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of those women are used to weak men. So they deal with the weak men, you know, and a lot of those women are, are considered, um, alpha females because they're so strong they're so strict and they're hey i gotta have success i gotta you know get men who follow my lead and i gotta do what i gotta do but in reality those are actually beta females because they could only attract beta males <laughs> you know it's funny because the most feminine and submissive, easygoing women generally attract the most dominant alpha, you know, successful men. The irony, because they're more laid back and easygoing. And those are truly the more alpha females. It's those ones. Because again, they attract the most alpha man and the most dominant man. You know, we all know as men, those women who are so attractive, but they've got those soft voice and they're just so enticing. They they listen to you, but then at the same time, they are they they like to just be seen, you know, and men just flock over them and just do whatever they want. But not because they ask them to, but because the men choose to. It's because of their femininity. That is the best way to get the most out of a man as a woman, to be the most feminine. You know, so it is uh, it is very interesting how, you know, how feminism today has really misconstrued a lot of stuff. And, you know, you got women thinking they could do anything a man can do. And, and when they prove that and they may accomplish a certain level of success. But they're in miserable relationships and they're in relationships with weak men and the relationships don't have good polarity, you know, because naturally as a man, you're supposed to lead your relationship. You're supposed to be the alpha. You're supposed to be strong and dominant. And the woman is supposed to be submissive, easygoing and follow your lead. That's natural. That is just human nature. So when it flips... Like I said, it just doesn't work. So uh, a strong woman cannot be with a strong man. It's just, they'll be clashing. And eventually that man's going to leave. You know what I mean? So the whole polarity of man and woman is a man is supposed to lead, a woman is following. And again, feminism and all that stuff nowadays has said women could do anything a man could do, but it hasn't been proven to be correct. It hasn't. I don't care how successful a woman is. She has to learn. If she wants to have a happy marriage, a happy life, she has to submit to her, her husband or whoever man she's dealing with. She has to. She has to. But the key is realizing as a man, just because you're man, a man, a woman is not going to submit to you. You have to be as Lucario, Mr. Lucario said, the most attractive man you could be. Not just how you look, your physical look, but how you dress, your breath, you know, your hair. You got to just be the best you can be. You know what I mean? Your body. You got to know how to talk. You know, all that stuff is very important. And even when it comes to a relationship, sure, money is important. But you should never lead with your money. Looks, money, status, all that is important if you want a relationship, but you should never lead with that stuff. And you should never try to get women or attempt to get women with that stuff because then you're following her. You are following her, you know, and you're not leading. She should get the benefits of that stuff from following you. If you're rich. You know, she does something you like, take her, buy her something, take her on vacation, 
your status. Maybe you know somebody and she's been doing well. You know somebody, you can connect her. Maybe for, um, you know, um, outfits, makeup, a business if she's looking to get into business. Because she did well by you. And obviously your looks, that's your looks. How you look good. So she's with you. She's benefiting from that. You know what I mean? Because she'll be submissive with you and be treating you well, you stick with her. And she gets the 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 value of being seen with a with a physically attractive and good looking man. You know, so all that stuff is very simple. You know, as men we gotta be the best we could be in all aspects of our life, and then we will attract the most uh feminine, um, beautiful, sexy woman we can. But it, it starts with you. You gotta be the best you can be first in order to get the best you can get. You know, so personal development, self-development is very important. But you can't be thinking just because you're a man, all women going to be down for you. That's when you you think, because that's a low value thinking. That's what weak men think. Oh, I'm a man. But then they get a woman and she treats them like shit. And she's constantly just uh, playing hard to get and treating them well. But then they feel like they have to prove because she, they're a man that you know, they're valuable and that's where problems come because they are proving to a woman their value as opposed to, again, the woman proving their value to him or to them. You know, you attract what you are. That's just what it is. You attract what you are. A dominant, successful alpha man will attract alpha people into them. Weak Submissive beta man will attract beta submissive weak people to them. It's just it's just a part of life. It's just a part of life. You know what I mean? So But yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you guys watching here. And of course, if you like this video, or if you like the video, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification button. And if you found value in this video, please donate. Anything will help. You know, I definitely appreciate it. But I did want to say that I want you guys to let me know what you would you like me to talk about in on my channel here. Let me know what you guys would like for me to talk about. Leave a comment. You know what I mean? Because I want to really tailor this channel. When it, of course, when it comes to relationships, even men and women. Whatever you guys would like for me to talk about, let me know. And I will do my best to get around to do it. Well, I will talk about it. I will talk about it. I will talk about what you guys want to talk about. Of course, again, as long as it has to deal with uh, relationships and, you know, health and just development, you know, as, as men and women in the society. But um, just let me know again. Comment and uh, like, comment, subscribe. But yes, I'm, I appreciate y'all joining me and being on my journey here, you know, and um, I hope and wish nothing but the best for you guys. And until next week, peace. See you then.